This training package teaches the essentials of safe and practical ECDIS use. It goes step by step through all the basic information required, including how electronic charts are different from paper charts and why it's important to understand the differences. The importance of using appropriate depth settings to get the best from the anti-grounding capabilities of the ECDIS. The basics of route planning and the all-important task of route monitoring. ECDIS has a lot to offer the watchkeeping officer. It integrates the output from the GNSS, speed and compass sensors, to provide a real-time display with a plot of the ship's position and motion on the chart. It provides automatic route monitoring with warnings of charted hazards. At night, it provides chart information without loss of night vision. It provides the navigating officer with easier chart updating, quicker route planning and route editing. It provides easy calculation of times of arrival. Perhaps the greatest challenge to the watchkeeping officer is the false sense of security that ECDIS may produce. The display always appears highly accurate, but it depends on the accuracy of the chart data, the input from the sensors, and appropriate management by the officer. Officers must routinely cross-check the accuracy of the ECDIS. They should question any unusual messages or system behavior. Suitable depth settings are essential to avoid unnecessary alarms. Officers need to be aware that there will be regular developments and improvements in ECDIS, and they will need to keep up to date with these changes. They must always be alert to potential threats to the safe navigation of the ship by all available means. Used correctly, ECDIS is an effective aid to safe navigation. But watchkeeping officers require proper training, accompanied by good seamanship and good situational awareness. The safe use of ECDIS in practice includes a video, workbook and e-learning CBT.